Hey there, it's Steve from SeriousKeto.com, and in this video, we are going to make some chaffles. But before we do that, if you enjoy low-carb cooking videos, product and ingredient reviews, as well as lessons learned from my experiences with the ketogenic lifestyle and intermittent fasting, click that subscribe button right down there, and while you're at it, click the bell next to it so you're notified whenever I release a new video. So for the past week or two, my Google News Feed and suggested videos on YouTube has just been lit up with chaffles. I didn't know what a chaffle was. I saw the name, I thought, you know, maybe it's a Middle Eastern sort of thing, like falafel or something. But it is basically just a cheesy waffle. Cheese and egg is kind of like the primary ingredients to them. Now, I got out and I started looking at some videos, and some of them are kind of long, you know, just for like one shuffle, a 24-minute video. Who's got time for that? Not me. So I'm going to give you six different varieties of chaffle, trying to find what's the best bang for your buck in terms of flavor and effort. So first, the just basic bare bones cheese and egg chaffle. All right. Generally, I try and avoid hyperbole, but this, my first chaffle here, this is a game changer. This is a keto game changer. Man, that's tasty, and it doesn't taste eggy. I was a little concerned that basically it was going to taste kind of like a mozzarella omelet or something. Wow, for something that easy to taste that good, pretty impressive. Next is the base recipe with just the addition of some psyllium husk powder. I would say that that tastes a little less eggy, not that the first one tasted especially eggy, but this one a little bit less so. I think it also tastes a little bit more waffly, more like an actual, you know, waffle made out of flour. I, I don't know that uh, if you didn't have psyllium husk on hand, if it would be worth running to the store just to add it to a chaffle. Interesting color on this. We definitely can use a, a lesser amount. In trial number three, I took the base chaffle mixture and I added one tablespoon of the Keto Connect 
mug bread or ramekin bread. Uh, I usually keep a, a big container of it all pre-mixed. I just, I love that stuff. Matt over at uh, Keto Connect, if he invented this recipe himself, uh, he's a genius. It's, uh, it's great. So I added a tablespoon of that to the mixture. Let's see how that cooked up. So this definitely has more of a chew to it. I think the additional chewiness of it may help this stand up a little bit more if you're using it as a sandwich type of bun. But uh, it's solid, and if you're like me and you mix up a bunch of uh, this ramekin bread mixture to always have on hand, um, you know, it's, it's an easy add. For the fourth truffle, I added some whey protein isolate. It definitely gives it a density that if you're looking for an actual waffle waffle, you know, like a yeast waffle, this isn't gonna give you that sort of mouthfeel at all. I think though, if you were using this as a base to make like a chaffle pizza, uh, it would be pretty good because it's that, that density really stands up. It makes it kind of crust-like. For the fifth trial, I added some Quest Cinnamon Toast Crunch whey protein. This is a win right here. If you are making these truffles, to be served with butter and maple syrup like a waffle. This is the way to go right here. Wow, this is great. Out of all the ones we've done so far, to me, this is the one where, you know, that tiny little bit of extra effort is totally, totally worth it. This is a next level chaffle right here. The final chaffle is the most complex of the recipes that I saw, and honestly, it's really not that complex. It's, you know, the egg, it's some almond flour, vanilla, cinnamon, baking powder, and a full cup of mozzarella rather than just a half cup. So I can tell right away that it's a much darker waffle.
I do not love this. In fact, if this was the only chaffle I'd ever had in my life, if I hadn't all the, had all these others, I probably wouldn't be making chaffles anymore. I think just too much cheese. And I'm from Wisconsin. We never say too much cheese. There's really no sweetness to it. You know, you, you get the, the vanilla, but um, there's, you know, maybe if you put a little stevia in this and dialed back on the, uh, the cheese, but this, this was not worth the effort. So in summary, the chaffle is going to change your life. It is going to rock your keto world if you've never had one. I don't know who came up with this idea, but whoever he or she is deserves the Nobel Prize for awesomeness. Just this straight up base recipe of one egg and a half cup of mozzarella was great. I'm gonna order another one of those Dash waffle makers, you know, so that I can make two at a time and, you know, have a sandwich bun ready to go. I would also say if you're making these as a, instead of a breakfast sandwich, but making it as something to put maple syrup and butter on, throw in a tablespoon of that Cinnamon Toast Crunch Powder by Quest. Holy cow, was that good. So this experiment today really kind of has me thinking about some of the possibilities with a chaffle. What other things could you add to it? Could you, you know, add some garlic or maybe switch things up, do a jalapeno cheddar chaffle? I think you're really only sort of limited by your imagination. But if you've got a favorite chaffle, let me know down in the comments. What did you add? What made it special? Thanks for watching.